Yeah, I just, uh, I'm not going to talk much about the game. I'm just going to share with you that uh, it's been a blessing and a privilege to coach the young man that we have in our program this year. We have a great group of guys who are class acts, really good students, good community people, and, uh, and for the seniors especially, um, legacy kind of guys, guys that make a big difference in your program that are great student athletes. So um, that's, my, that's my comment. Really, guys, it feel like there were a couple balls that went right to the wall, kind of could have a chance to get you guys right back in, and, and then when they come up, it seems like they're able to kind of find some holes in, in the offense. Yeah, um, Bales and I were just kind of talking about it. They We stung a couple balls, like you said, right to the track, and, I mean, that's baseball, and then they had a few bloops that kind of fell in for them, got them going a little bit, but, again, I mean, can't complain too much about that. Uh, Zach, obviously, final game for a lot of seniors. Uh, what does it mean to you personally and also the seniors to have Beaver Nation come out and give you guys a standing ovation like they did there at the end? Shoot, I mean, uh, this community is just a class act. I mean, there's so much respect for the players um, and our team. And you know what? It's just, it's just been an honor for the last four years to represent them and Beaver Nation as a whole. So I, I'm forever grateful and blessed to be part of this program. Zach or Alex, I mean, it just it seemed like you guys were kind of playing from behind just this entire tournament. Did it just always feel like it, whatever the situation the game was in, you guys were just kind of always running uphill in this in this regional? Uh, I mean, it's kind of felt like that for the last few weeks, honestly. Um, you know, and, and I think we had guys that were built for it, um, but we kind of mentioned that things didn't really fall our way today, and, and that's okay. But, um, you know, we showed that fight. Uh, I think we showed it all year, and I'm um, just proud of the guys that we had. Zach, this uh, program's kind of prided itself on its defense, so I guess how disappointing was it to kind of see the big defense lapse today and, and yesterday? Yeah, I mean, shoot, that's not usually how we play defense. Um, like you said, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on pitching and defense, and there are some miscues and some things happen, some misread balls, you know, balls that usually we usually catch. Um, but that's not a knock on those guys at all. You know, that, that happens in the game, and you make mistakes, especially physical mistakes, so. Obviously, we as media and also just baseball fans in general see all the statistics, the amazing things that Adley does. But is there anything specific that he does behind the scenes that you know maybe we miss that is just so big about what he does? Um, I mean, yeah, it's all been said about him. You know, you can't say enough good things. But um, just the kind of leader, uh, the kind of passion that he has for the game, it's, it's something that we all feed off. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with him too. So when we started playing, when we were in middle school together, and kind of ran it all the way through college. And I can say he's one of my best friends. Um, the character piece to him, I think that's his biggest thing. Um, you know, it's, he's an honest person, um, keeps his word, and you know, at the end of the day, he's he's got my back, and I got his back, and I know I can go to him at any point in life. And you know, whether it's a phone call, if he's across the country, he'll pick up, and he would be there for me in an instant. So you, you can't. Can't miss friends like that. So, Zach, is it almost stunning when it ends that way? I mean, after two college world series, and you get the home regional to to be in a game today, and then look up and see that the regional is going on, and you guys are out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's not how any of us want it to end. You know, our goal every year is to win a national championship, and there's nothing else to it. Um, we expected to, you know, win three games and play in a super next week, but you know, that's not how it goes all the time. Um, you get teams that are really riding a hot streak, and I mean, shoot, granted to both the teams we played though too. You know, they they played very well and barreled some balls up, and um, we had some mistakes, and that's kind of how it can flip on you. So, uh, Zach, you mentioned your relationship with Adley. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you, you'd want your season to be continuing, but what is it going to be like on Monday to to see him most likely go number one? Absolutely, I'm I'm really looking forward to that, and for the rest of the guys, you know, that have a shot to get picked up. But yeah, Rutch especially. I mean, like I said, that's one of my best friends growing up. To kind of see it come full circle, you know, and have his dream dream fulfilled. You know, we all dream about that being the number one draft pick, and um, so I, I couldn't be more happy for him. You know, and I, he deserves every bit of it. So I think as a team collectively, our whole program, we're excited for him. So. Zach, you kind of mentioned how it's a childhood dream to go number one overall and how you've known Adley for so long. Was there any point 
that you or maybe you and Adley both realize that there was a legitimate shot that he could be a top draft pick? Yeah, shoot. I think last year kind of proved it in a nutshell. Um, I remember sitting in a dugout after we were playing UNC, and Rutch had that, I think he had a double to center, and we scored three runs on that play. And uh, yes, he looked at me, and he's like, you know, that guy could go pretty high in the draft next year. And kind of we both laughed about it. But again, seeing it come full circle now in the position he is, I think a team's dumb not to take him first overall. So, But that's just my opinion. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Perfect. I thought Dylan Pierce was outstanding today. He did a really, really good job. He gave up one earned, unearned run. Um, that was a great way for him to end his career here at Oregon State. And he's just a competitor. And more importantly, he's a, he's a really neat, neat young man. And also the question I, I asked Zach earlier, just about the defense and kind of the disappointment with kind of seeing that, that fall through these last couple days. Yeah, I mean, today was really weird. Um, you know, the three errors, honestly, were all really bad errors. I mean, the ball has hit center field that Keller made an error on. That ball's got to go to second base. And he picked it up to hurry up to throw to third when he had no shot of getting the guy at third base. It was a soft line drive. Um, and then, you know, the ball should have been caught at third. And anyhow, it's, uh, you know, today was, I, I just told him to play hard today. I didn't care what happened. Uh, just focus on playing hard and, and being aggressive. I think we walked. Six times, struck out five times. We hit some balls hard, couldn't find holes. Um, you know, that's that's baseball and that's life. Sometimes things aren't fair. But, um, you know, I, I know overall the defense we played all year long was really good. And I thought we made some great plays today too, by the way. I mean, I thought we made a couple great plays in the outfield and Bo made a couple great plays at shortstop and, and that's life. I mean, Alex made it seem like you guys maybe feel like you're a little bit snake, but these last few few weeks, did you feel that as well? Just things just didn't out of snake, hundred percent. No, I saw snake bit. Like you know, just things just weren't going your way throughout this region. Oh, I don't think we're a snake bit. I just don't think we played well. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago you thought you guys were playing tight. Did you feel like that continued through the last couple of weeks? No, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I talked about that last week after the SE, SE series. Uh, you know, because we were down at Stanford. We played great down at Stanford. It's just the last two weekends we haven't played well. And I told the guys today, we, we talked about it, and Andy made a comment that, and, uh, and we talked about that too, just about playing loose and, and uh, like, you know, playing on the playground. Just go out and have fun and play hard. Uh, Coach, back to back games, you guys kind of dig yourselves in a little hole, give up a few early runs. Was there anything in particular that? Cincinnati and then today Creighton did, or was it just a matter of you guys not executing? It's a matter of us not playing good baseball. Bottom line, yeah. Uh, Pat, how do you assess this season overall? Some positive things with so many guys to replace, but also the postseason tends to be what sticks out in people's minds. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I told our players when I went there just now just how much I cared for and appreciated just how, you know, I'm none of our guys, I can't remember the last time any of our guys got in trouble in the community. I mean, we just have really good guys who are good students. And uh, and they really represent Oregon State University really well. I mean, we have two years ago we had a 3-3-1 GPA as a team. Last year we had a 3-2-7 GPA as a team. This year currently we have a 3-2-6. So, uh, you know, I, I just think we have really good guys who are really hard workers and do things right on and off the field. Knock on wood, I hope they don't do anything stupid tonight. <laughs> uh, Pat, you don't uh, have an opportunity to see many sidearm deliveries uh, throughout the season, but you saw one today. Uh, how difficult did that make it down in the last, uh, you know, four innings when Sikowski came in there and he he's, looks like he's pretty tough? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I looked at the matchup part. Uh, I think right-handers were hitting 161 against them on the season. I, I don't I, – the velocity wasn't an issue. It was just the deception. I mean, ball looks like it's going behind your back and coming in the strike zone, especially, uh, you know, what I call a frisbee slider. So uh, that's why we had more left-handers hitting towards the end. You've been really good about all season saying you're going to concentrate on the next game and, and the day. Um, we're at the end of the season. Have you been given any indication about uh, what next year will hold and, and whether uh, Pat's coming back? 
You know, I haven't. Um, I can tell you that uh, Scott and I talked, and he asked me if I was interested in applying for the job, and I said absolutely. So that's that's kind of where it's been. And Case and I are really good friends, and I think just from a respect viewpoint, he wanted to wait till the season was over with.